Hey, what's going on? So today, I'm here to talk about groupers. Now, y'all already know I have um, the Ruger LCP. Let me clear these. Okay, that one's clear. They take um, seven round magazines. Light just went out on me, so y'all got to bear with me. Okay. Um, all right. So anyway, so y'all already know I have the Ruger LCP. And um, the size is not too great. It doesn't have a front grip on here where you can easily rip this. And yes, it is clear. It's nothing in here. Um, yeah, I know I got ballpoint ammunition in this one, but um, I need to get some more. It's just in my storage cabinet right now, so yeah. And I don't use this one as an EDC, so this one just sits, just as a magazine full of bullets just in case. But anyway, um, this is the Ruger LCP. I didn't like the trigger on here, so I had to change the trigger because the trigger was just not, it wasn't it. It was horrible. Again, it's clear. So, I mean, it's it's a little better than when it was, but about, not by much. The wall is better than what it was. Only thing I hate is about it because you gotta pull it up more to look at that. Nah, I don't like that. But I didn't like the way the other trigger curved out too much. So I did change that. And um like I said, there's no gripping up here on the slide. And the original magazine was kind of short, so if you got like big hands, you're gonna need like a pinky extender like this one. Like this one. So yeah, that one can kind of if you got like my size hands, it will fill it. So to fast forward, I went and cop the Ruger LCP2. Now this one have a front grip on here. And this one have a hollow points on here. So you see it. This one have ball point. This one have hollow points. I carry this one. So this one just sits in my cabinet. Um, well, these two sits in my cabinet. These, these I carry. So, um, this one have grip, gripping in the front, where you can easily grip it like that. Um, the sights is much better. I mean, they're. They're pretty much made into the slide, but I don't know. It's like it's got. It's just way better. Let me show you. Hold on. The difference in them. These both feet is clear, so I'm not flashing myself. So this is the LCP2, and this is the LCP1. And I did put fingernail polish for sights because, you know, it make it easier to see like that and the sights is raised up just a little bit see how the lcp1 sights is a little bit lower then you got the lcp2 sights is raised up just a little bit where you can see your sights a little bit better say kind of harder to see this one um I did put lasers on both of these, so it makes it better to see a sight because 
the sights ain't too good on this, but this helps a little bit. And another thing I like about this LCP2 is because it's got that Glock like safety trigger. So it won't go back until you know you press that in. See. Um the takedown is the same. You pretty much just um got a bullet or something. You just pretty much put it in here. Well, if you can take something in here and just kind of pull out, that pin will come out. Like that. come out like that and it's the same the takedown this should be the same as with the LCP2 I never taken it down but it's it's the same thing it's the sights change let's see so about okay but I should be able to release and rock it forward like that so you know other than that pin it takes down like a Glock so Put that back in there. Put the pin in there. And there you go. Um, I did buy a ten round mag for it, so I got. I got two of these. And that's what it look like in there. Now these takes the same magazine. So if you have the LCP one, and you know they only come with one magazine out the box, but if you got if you went and bought like multiple mags for the LCP one, they are they do work on the same magazine, so they share each other's mags. This, this is the stock mag. Only thing I did was put a pinky extender. And this, this is from the LCP1 magazine going into the LCP2 stock magazine. It. Um, I like the release on here is much better. Way easier to release this one than it was to this. Because I kind of kind of press that in. But this one kind of sticks out a little more. See how that sticks out? So it make it easier to press that release down. Where this one is kind of more flush with the frame. So it, you kind of got to really get in there to release it, like right? press down in there. This one is very simple. It's pretty much you just press it down and it goes in like that. I did put a clip draw on here. Um, now I didn't really care for it to be on this gun because I don't have a safety the trigger is not a safety trigger so this is with this trigger being on here it was making it making it more sensitive to press the way I had it set so I, I had a holster for this this one with this safety on the trigger is it makes it you should always still have a holster for these but if you do decide to pocket Man, I don't get my legs got that going numb in this chair. But if you decide to carry without a holster, it's got that extra safety. Let me clear this. So it's similar to my GX4. Um as far as trigger.
but it's small small 380 gun they have this in the 22 caliber too but i wanted a 380 a lot of people give 380s a bad name but you know what like i said for pocket guns it's better than nothing and it's damn better than a 22 so close enough this would be if you close enough this will get the job done now if you're going for range i wouldn't recommend a 380 but this is pretty much if someone's up on you you know like arm leap arm reach length then this will do the job again this is a nine millimeter this is a 380 so this is damn close enough to get the job done to a nine millimeter a lot of people's like oh 380s only do this and 380s do look but look honestly look at how close they are so this still would do the job as far as distance i don't i will say stick to the nine millimeter as far as distance um close kind of mid close range 380 will do the job for self-defense but like i said if you don't want to carry heavy you don't want to carry a nine millimeter this is a compact um towards gx4 this is still small but if you want something that's really smaller and more of a lower profile don't say carry this with maybe a 10 round magazine on you real light it still will weigh less than this gx4 like if you go out jogging or something and you know you don't want to have something that's kind of weight weighed down or worry about it coming off while you're jogging or exercising this is perfect for that you can honestly it's so damn light it's it's <laughs> i'm trying to compare it to something um this is really light even on a magazine in it It's real light. My phone, well, my phone weighs more than this. Literally, I can picking up my phone is heavier than this. So this is pretty much is a it's a light gun, small frame gun. Um, it is a little bit thicker than the uh, LCP one, but. It weighs about the same, so the same weight. So it's not, even though it looked thicker and it'll look like it'll be bigger, it still weighs the same. And also, you get a more of a grip with this. Like I can feel that fitting just right. Now, when you get it, obviously, it won't have these lasers. I put these lasers on here. To give it more of a better sight so they fit perfectly on there if you get the right one specifically for this this is specifically for um, this LCP 2 so if you have the LCP 1 laser it will not fit on this LCP 2 you have to get a new laser if you have that just keep that in mind when I got this LCP2, I was thinking since it's the same size almost, will it fit it? But the trigger, trigger housing under here is shaped a little bit differently. So you're going to have to get a new one if you go that route. This won't carry over to that. Oh, and the hammer. You know, you know the LCP1 got... Check that again. LCP1 got a little ham, cut off hammer back here. Now um, the LCP2, it got one. Check that. It got one, but it's like it is very low profile and hitting. It's like way in there, so you don't see it. But what I like about it is, I don't know if this camera picked that up, but if you was to put it, nah, not it's not loaded, but. See, it can't, it's too dark to see, but the, the human eye, if it's loaded, you can see the bullet in there. So all you gotta do is look down in there and you'll see the bullet up in the barrel. 
in the back. Yeah. Uh, that's the LCP tool. I like it. Um, it's very, like I said, it's only only improvements really they did to this was uh, made it a little bit wider. They made it where you can have some grip in the front, and they put a safety on the trigger, like from a Glock, right here. And uh, cut down the hammer a little bit where you can, oh, and the sights. The sights got serrations in it now where you can easily sight it. But I would say to get better sights, probably do what I do, put some fingernail polish paint here and white paint on the end. Or vice versa, however you want to do it. This just works for me. Red in the back, white in the front. Helps me line, line it up better. Or you can do vice versa. However you chose. But that's my review on the LCP2. Small profile gun. I like it. This is like I said, this is good for like if you wear jogging pants and you don't want to get your big gun out, or if you're making a store run and you just need something to just grab on the go and ain't worried about it being too heavy. Here you go. This, this is it, LCP 382. All right, next time.